Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hopping Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy, baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. To start off, you're going to need two cups of self-rising flour. And I'm going to start out by sifting it. This is an old time, old, old timey sifter. I've had this for many years. So I'm going to finish sifting this and then I'll be back. You're going to need one 15 ounce can of fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. And you're going to put the whole thing in here undrained. Do not drain it. Put the syrup and everything in there. Then you're going to get two large eggs and put in there. I've already cracked them. Put them in there. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One and a half cups granulated sugar. the half. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all of this together with a mixer. It says on low speed. Make sure you got a spatula to Push it down so when you're mixing it, it can. So you want to just keep mixing it until it's thoroughly mixed together. I've already pre sprayed the cake pan, 9 by 13 cake pan. And now all you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to pour the cake mix in there. Have your oven preheating at 350 degrees and then you're going to cook it for 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. I'll be back when it's done. Now we're going to make the sauce. You're going to need one stick of unsalted butter. One cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of Evaporated milk. Now make sure you shake your can before you uh, 
you open it. One cup of chopped pecans and one cup of sweetened coconut flakes. I'm just going to pour it in there like that. There we go. Oh, that's good enough. You know what? I'm just going to pour the whole bag in there because that's just a four ounce bag that I bought. So now what you're going to do is I'm going to take this over to the stove and it says turn up the heat and bring it all to a boil for one minute and you just stir it until it's all combined. I'll be back when it's uh, finished. It's done. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a fork and you're going to poke holes through the cake. It only took 30 minutes in my oven. Alright, finish the sauce that goes over it. You just have to stand with it for a minute and just keep stirring it while it boils. I put it down on medium heat and let it let it boil. Because if you don't stay with it, then it's going to burn. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to pour just pour it all over the cake. Then it says to spread the coconut and the pecans all over the cake. Spread it evenly. Now you can serve this cake warm or you can let it cool down, but it is very hot so I'm not going to try it right now. I'm going to let it cool down for about 30 minutes. And it is finished setting up. I'm going to cut into it. It's still a little warm. But I'm going to go in and try it. it smells good. Did you see what it looks like? Okay, so let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, mm mmm. That is a very good and moist cake. And that, the icing on top, well, that is really good. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video and have a blessed Easter.